What's the first thought that comes to your mind when you hear the word virus? Probably you think of all those harmful bugs that we need to get rid of them as soon as possible. But in reality, viruses are inspirational. At least that's the case in our field, which is pharmaceutical sciences, and we are getting inspired by the viruses. So that we can design nanoparticles as drug carriers, which mimic viruses in their sizes and shape, to deliver the drug to the tumor site. In this way, we can fight cancer. You may ask, why do we need drug carriers in the first place? Don't we have enough number of effective drugs that we can fight cancer with? The answer to that question is that, yes, we do have a large number of effective drugs that we can fight cancer with. But what we don't have is control over how those drugs are going to be distributed inside the body. So that the minute the drug goes inside the body, it can go anywhere, including healthy tissue. And that's why we're getting side effect with this drug. Also, because we are not going to have enough amount of drug at tumor site, we are not going to get effective therapy. But what if we can put the drug inside the carrier and design this carrier in a way that can deliver the drug specifically and selectively to the tumor site while sparing normal tissues? Or in the other words, what, we have, uh, what if we have targeted therapy? So that we have high amount of drug at tumor site, so we're going to increase the drug efficacy and also, we are going to reduce the incidence of side effects because we are going to prevent the distribution of drugs to the normal tissue. The good news is that this approach is feasible. The bad news is, well, there are some problems associated with these drug carriers. For example, we cannot package high amount of drug inside this carrier. And also, when we inject this carrier into the blood, because of the dilution that happens in the circulatory system, they're going to break apart. So they'll no longer be useful. And here has come my research. In my research, we're trying to address this problem so that by improving the method of synthesis and the way that we are going to modify the surface of these nanoparticles, we come up with the nanoparticles that not, uh, not only can accommodate a high amount of drug inside themselves, but can also keep themselves intact for a longer period of time so that they can have a higher chance to deliver their cargo to the tumor site. Hopefully, all this study gets us one step closer to the point that we can change our strategy instead of going for carpet bombing the whole body to smart bombing the tumor. Thank you.